This is Hello Glass with another Glass Artist interview. What is your name and are you a glass artist? My name is Jim Adelhock and yes, I'm a glass artist. I'm the owner of Wild Words Glass Studios in Los Angeles, California. How long have you been making glass and you consider yourself a master? I've been working in glass for about the last 15 years and master, no, but a, a high-end craftsman, yes. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? Um, my favorite glass, I started in soft glass, but of course, moving to Boro, it was, uh, I, I still work in both. I consider myself bilingual or ambidextrous with both styles. I still prefer Boro um, overall, but there's still a place in my heart for soft glass. What state do you call home for your glass shop? California, Los Angeles. Do you work, uh, do you work under a glass brand or an art name? Yes, uh, under Wildwares Glass Studios. Does it have a website? It does, www.wildwares.com. Do you make your living solely off glass art? No, I don't. Unfortunately, glass art cannot sustain a Los Angeles mortgage. <laughs> If you could make glass with anyone living, who would that be? <laughs> with anyone living? Um, if the, my favorite glass artists uh, that I could spend that much time with would either be Patty Gray, uh, uh, with a uh, similar soul, uh, or uh, Eli Mose. What style or technique in glass is hardest for you? Uh, the hardest for me is off mandrel soft. Uh, one of the great things about Boro is that it, it allows you a lot of freedom to work, but uh, soft glass on the other hand, for example, uh, uh, using Ryan's, uh, Ryan's soft glass, I can make marbles, it can be done, but soft glass has its uh, limitations in that it requires a real master to get the same effect in soft glass as you would get in Boro. Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. Uh, let's see, it would have to be uh, Josh and Eli Mize, both Mize brothers. Uh, the lesser known Mize brother, Tim, uh, has all, was also an influence. He's in the background, learned a lot of production techniques from Tim. Uh, Patty Gray as well. Uh, Katra Wilkinson out of Bisbee. Uh, she was one of the greatest influences I had. Is there any style or technique in glass that you would or will learn in the future? One of the, yes, there is. It's actually a combination of uh, sand carving and, uh, and glass casting. And that, that's something I'm working on in my studio right now. Name two glass artists that impress you. Two glass artists that, uh, that impress me. Uh, Brent Graber is, is one that impresses me a lot, and I go back to the Mazes. They uh, uh, play a very large role in my glass career. What style or technique in glass amazed you when you first saw it? was the transformation of flat, uh, flat fusible stained glass into beautiful lamp work. That impressed me the most. It's what got me into uh, torch work. Worst injury you ever got making glass art? <laughs> With an eye patch. <laughs> well, for, uh, the eye patch fortunately wasn't from glass. <laughs> Thank God. Um, let's see, the, um, uh, the occasional burn, um, I, I had a I had a student put uh, put a punty backwards uh, instead of hot out. They put hot in, and gra I grabbed it. What I thought was cool and wasn't. Yes, <laughs> love the students sometimes. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? That's a very very good question. One of the things that I, I look for is to. Bring, is to bring more of the masses into glass. Some will go, wow, that's great, and go off. Others, the light bulb will turn on and it'll ignite the same flame, so to speak, that was ignited uh, with me uh, over a decade ago. How does a glass fan get to buy or hold your work? A glass fan? Yes. Um, either, in my, uh, either in my studio, my classes. Um, Where's your studio? I, in Los Angeles, California, in the West San Fernando Valley. Um, and uh, Facebook? And, uh, I'm sorry? Facebook? Unfortunately, I'm not, not on Facebook. It's enough to keep a website up. Uh, for me, social media is phenomenal. The problem is, is that I, my philosophy is that unless I can keep a Facebook page up, I'd rather not have one or have a static one than to have one that's there and stale. 
Do you so, have an Etsy? Um, I was using Etsy, using, using Artfire. Uh, this is going to sound pretentious, but I actually I sell nearly everything I make, which Perfect. is phenomenal. You've got three minutes to tell the world whatever you want. Go for it. Whenever I want. Glass is one of the uh, one of the most incredible incredible mediums out there. It has literally something for everyone, with, whether it's marble making or lamp work or fusing uh, or sand carving or any of the others. There is so much out there. There's uh, an interesting crossover between glass and ceramics. The contents of glass and the contents of clay are not that different. And that to see that kind of crossover, especially now we have uh, that, that we see in this show and others where they are crossing, uh, is is terrific. But I think one of the uh, one of my goals, as I mentioned earlier, was to make sure that uh, that glass is uh, that glass creation of glass art, glass utility uh, is out there for the masses for those that uh, are meant to do it. This was Hello Glass with another Real Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you.